What's going on? It's Andy Francis, and I've been scouring the deepest trenches of the internet to find you some of my favorite Week 9 NFL bets, a.k.a. I just went to the sportsbook websites and looked and saw what I liked. Now, I guess to this point, we're at the halfway mark. It's been a mixed bag of potatoes, but I'd like to argue it's been more good than bad. Always remember this when you're going to start complaining. A professional is supposed to hit at 55%, and I'm definitely lingering somewhere above that, I think. Someone can go do the calculations if you feel like it, but I know you people. You don't have time to go do stuff like that. You just want the next bet, so I'll get those to you quickly, all right? Relax. But first, the thing you should know is there's a lot of big spreads this week. There's a lot of huge spreads last week. I just read something the other day that said, oh yeah, when the Eagles play the Bills in the Super Bowl, they'll be nine-point underdogs or seven-point underdogs because everyone who plays the Bills is like a double-digit underdog, just like you saw the Packers last week. Which means if you like the Bills, DraftKings has got the perfect deal for you. You bet $5 on any NFL money line, and if your team wins, they're going to credit you with $200 in free bets as long as you pick the winning team. So if you bet the Bills, they're favored by like 11 or 12 this week against the Jets. You take them five bucks on the money line. DraftKings is giving you $200 in free bet credits. You can check the description of this video. It will give you the specifics and then it will provide a link that will take you there. Where's it going to take you? Directly to the promotion that allows you to bet on a money line. And here's a money line that you can bet on. The Bills. Do you want to know what you shouldn't bet on? The Bills by the spread. Why is that? Because it's something I told you. I do not take double-digit favorites. Why is that? Because if you've taken every single double-digit underdog since the beginning of time, you're a winner. That's right, not a game show host, even though I sound like one. But the home team here is getting 11 points. Now, think about last week. I said, hey, look, at least the Cowboys, they're not at that crucial 10-point mark. I'll take them at 9.5. But then if you look at those bills on Sunday night, they didn't cover that double-digit spread. If you look at the Eagles on Monday night, they didn't cover their double-digit spread. There's a reason why it's just too many points. And if you're giving me 11 points at home, with the New York Jets, I know you think I'm a fan of the Jets. You think I want to trust Zach Wilson out there, especially without having their running back anymore and Brees Hall? No, but it's just too many points. So I'm going to take the New York Jets at plus 11 for my first bet. Now, moving on from there, I don't know if DraftKings heard my complaints a couple weeks back. Remember earlier in the year, I showed you the percentages that they were fortunate enough to give us, and then I feel like we won a bunch of bets, and then they take it away. The sports book giveth, and then the sports book taketh away. Well, look what's back our percentages. They're going to show us what all the idiots in your town are betting. And looks like the carnival came out to bet on the Miami Dolphins. And it makes sense. Four point favorites against Chicago, who got absolutely blitzkrieg last week. But they put up a fight in that loss. They won the previous week. They've obviously been playing slightly better. And then on the other side, you have the Dolphins coming off a couple wins, so it makes sense that everybody is going to be excited to take them, but four points is one of those rat numbers where, you know, they maybe end up winning by a field goal. Even last week, I mean, they were set to rat you already. They showed you what can happen if you take them on the road against Detroit, awful team. They were down multiple scores into that game, and you trickled by. They let you, they let you get by on the skin of your teeth, and you're really going to go do it again? Back-to-back -back weeks on the road, you saw what they did to you once. You're going to let it, let them scare you like that twice in a row? I know I like horror movies, but, you know, not in real life with my sports betting money. So I'm going to take the uh, Chicago Bears at home getting four points. The home dogs, you know I kind of love them. So that's two home dogs right there. But I don't want you to think like, oh, my God, this guy, he's just taken. No, no, no. I have my 69% rule, my Gronkowski rule. That's usually the number where if I see anyone going over that in terms of how many people are betting on a side, it's usually like a red flag minesweeper. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to stay away from that one. But there's a bet that I really like that didn't hit that number, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. The New England Patriots minus five and a half against the Indianapolis Colts. I feel like they're going to stick it to the Colts till the end of time ever since the deflate gate nonsense. So uh, you know Belichick throws them beatings time after time. I mean, I can't even think how many games where they're just running for like 200 yards against them. And this looks like a prime game. Mac Jones got through his first game back. They got through with a win. He looked very shaky in the first half coming home with that home crowd against a rookie quarterback. You know how Belichick does against rookie quarterbacks. 
I think this is a great smash spot to have a dominant performance. On the other side, they don't even have Jonathan Taylor. This would be rolling out Jackson, a rookie quarterback. Awful circumstance for the Indianapolis Colts. So I'm going to go ahead and take the New England Patriots minus five and a half. Now the next one, it's a half sniff, half rat. I obviously have been very vocal about how much I despise the Arizona Cardinals. Into, not like personally, but I thought they were way overvalued going into this season. I thought they were an awful team. They picked up right where they left off uh, at the end of last year. And then to me, they looked awful the whole way. I started to see the offense start clicking a little bit. I thought there was a slight chance that when Hopkins came back, this could happen, but it really has happened. They've looked better than I thought. And even though we bet against them last week, we won on that bet last week, but this particular spot, I'm giving you the president finger, this particular spot, they're two point favorites against a team that they're okay, but they're not as good as people think they are. They're coming off of two wins, one against the Chargers and then one against the Giants, but the Giants are like one of those fake teams. So now you obviously, like look at the sports books. They see that Arizona is awful. Why are they two point favorites? Why are they two point favorites against a team that's playing very well? And why am I doing my half Jerry Seinfeld again? It's because something's up there and I weirdly, weirdly, weirdly like the Arizona Cardinals to actually have a good game in this one. I really do believe that Hopkins has helped breathe life into that team and they're starting, they're starting to look a little bit better. Oh God, I hope that one doesn't come back to bite me. And then on the prop side, there's a prop that I definitely like, and that is the over 37 and a half rushing yards for AJ Dillon going into the year. I despised A.J. Dillon from a fantasy perspective. I thought he clearly was the inferior back. He was a game script dependent back where you had to be either in a close game or you had to be leading. Well, guess what? They haven't been doing a lot of that this season. So you've seen his you know, performances just go right down. But this is the perfect kind of game to utilize A.J. Dillon against the Lions who have an abysmal defense. He's going to get ample rushing opportunities. And we've seen what they've ceded to other running backs in previous weeks and you gotta like AJ Dillon to top 37 and a half in this one it's a scary spread if you were gonna you know combine that with the winner I I would pick Green Bay to win don't like him at three and a half would love prefer them at two and a half and then just a quick little sniff off to the side yeah qu quick side sniff just to put in your radar right there that Vikings uh, commanders game that's another one that's a little kind of weird right now it's hovering around three if you can get it two and a half this is one of those I'll take Vikings minus two and a half, but I'll take Commanders plus three and a half. So depending on which, which sports book you bet at, also that's a great uh, reason to use Odd Shopper just in case you didn't know. You go to Odd Shopper and you pick the bet you want. Like if you like uh, the Vikings, it will show you where you're getting the best price and the best line on the Vikings. Same thing with Washington. So if there's a site that has one of them at plus three and a half, minus two and a half, it will find that for you. So definitely check that out. It's one of the best tools that they offer. And uh, those are the bets that I have for you. And I'll say, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look and check some of the inactives later and see if there's any inside deals I can get you. So feel free to, uh, you know, I, I kind of sometimes share some of this stuff on social media. So make sure you follow me on there, whether it be Instagram or Twitter. You can just follow the name that you see on your screen once in a while. I'll tweet out a couple of sniffs because, you know, random things. Like, is Darren Waller going to play tomorrow? Because if he is, or do we want to take the Hunter Renfro? Because it's a low total. There are little things that you got to see when the inactives come out uh, where you can get a little edge as they like to say on them but i guess uh we will find out about that later uh, do me a favor comment on this video tell me how much you hate me it's always very much appreciated <laughs> um you know like it subscribe to uh, the odd shopper channel and like i said come find me on social media and i will be back with you to talk monday night football good luck to all of you and you know what i'm gonna equal Let let's have the same amount of luck tomorrow take it easy